Uh, Red Roadmap is uh, done uh, since the beginning of uh, this year. Or, but, uh, and along with that, they also come up with the safeguard uh, for red, red in the country. And only in red, we start uh, talking about UN DRIP and indigenous people rights, as well as FPIC for indigenous community. So in that also, they mention about shifting cultivation and how to address as part of the strategy for driver of deforestation. I think uh, there is little awareness among the community on red programs. So when they, although they are sometimes invited for um, consultation and discussion, if they don't have the background full understanding fully, then they cannot uh, give uh, a proper um, comment on things like that. However, um, there is ongoing uh, consultation open up and. For us, civil society also, we try to do awareness raising at the same time, uh, trying to engage in the country red process so that the community uh, have their voice on the process going on at the same time, improve the rights. Because red come along with the safeguard and indigenous people right and discussion on land tenure and collective right. So all of the things we haven't discussed in the past time is coming up along with RED. So whatever, whether RED come in 2020 or not, we hope that uh, community will improve their voice along with engaging at the RED program. At the same time, uh, we hope to help support to climate change by improving sustainable forest management in our country. Shifting cultivation is mainly practiced by the indigenous community in Myanmar and also uh, the, for them there, there is no legal protection for asset to land and uh, they have uh, also pressure on land grabbing and illegal logging coming into the area. That's why uh, finally they end up like uh, reducing fair low period which is also again seen as the driver of deforestation. Uh, with their practices. However, they also face the climate change impact and they're trying to um, respond to with their uh, way and knowledge and uh, with their lifestyle. In Myanmar, Kachin Kaya, Kayin, Chin and Shan state are mainly, the indigenous people there are mainly working uh, shifting cultivation as their livelihood and uh, two actually in the past is around two tenths of the population now reduced to one tenth due to limited access of land and a lot of migration and other social factor uh, however um, uh, is 22.8% uh, of the land area of the country is still uh, practicing shifting cultivation for their main livelihood Since they have no legal protection in the law, any time when there is illegal logging coming in, when the company get the uh, land concession, they have to move, relocate, and uh, further into the forest. And also, uh, there is um, a pressure for them to find alternative livelihood, although they have uh, not, no, they don't have proper education. And this also lead to some social issue like uh, uh, the people have to work as a housemaid and all other things is like a loop, no? impact on their life. So they really in need of uh, support uh, legally as well as technically and uh, for their future um, uh, sustainability of uh, shifting cultivation practices.